Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower, hence why I look like this. Um, but today's video, now I am going to keep trying to remember to look here, but it's so hard for my brain to like not want to look right at the camera. Um, so in today's video, I'm just going to jump straight in, as you can tell from the title. Let me do the box back up because I've already like destroyed it. But I received this in the mail yesterday and I was so excited and today I decided to do a YouTube video. Now this is was sent to me for free from where from influencer and bondi sands um in exchange for my honest review so i'm so excited to try it today and tell you guys what i think um i did look at some um things about it and stuff and i love that it is um ethically sourced vegan and cruelty free and it's australian made and i love i love australia so like to me that's like yeah um, but I love that it's vegan and cruelty free because like, you know, we're in the 21st century now, guys. Yeah, up your game, okay? If you can do it, do it. Um, so I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like. As soon as I opened it and saw Bondi Sands, I was like, sorry guys, it's a bit annoying. I was like, <laughs> me? You shouldn't have. You really, you should have. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh, gosh, don't knock myself out. So, we've got some lovely... Oh, this one. <laughs> so, we've got this little card. Congratulations, you've been selected to sample our self-tan foaming water, self-tan face mist and self-tanning sleep mask from our new Pure range. Oh, okay. Probably should have specified it's their new Pure range. Um, now I probably am looking pow because I did scrub any tan I already had on off so I can, you know, see it and stuff. I may even get my, I thought I could, are people talking? No. Um, I may even get my sister to try it on her face just so I can get another, because she's a little bit more fairer than me. So just to see how it looks on her so I can just, you know, see, but it will be my me that i test it on and stuff um oh yeah sorry i've got guys honestly i go from here to here like my best friend and my sister will tell you this like we we will be talking but then we'll start talking about something else and we'll completely forget what we were going on about I do it all the time um but i've scrubbed all my tan off so hence why i look a bit pale i have scrubbed off my legs i mean i will stand up and show you soon i do have shorts on um but what I'll do is, is I'll probably cut this video and then I'll come back to you in like six hours time. Um, because I think I might put it on. Do the instructions say? If I believe it says to leave it on for six hours, um, which I will read in a minute, and then wash it off. So I'm probably going to do that. But I'm going to show you guys all the products. So we've got self tan foaming water in dark. Now, I was a bit like, oh, like I'm not really olive skin but i do have quite olive skin so i think this will probably be okay on me but this is what the bottle looks like i do actually really like the packaging i don't know why i just feel like it looks really like sleek and clean i don't like too much going on i don't like too much color i like things to look sleek expensive on my shelf and i just feel like this as a set would look really cute on my shelf <laughs> um I've, I've never used bondi sands before i will say that i've never used their tan um i've used their body scrub before um and i actually liked the scent of that and i did think i'm gonna smell this i did think it was gonna smell coconuts but i don't believe it does and that was a bit disappointing how do you take the lid off like i don't see i don't hate the smell but the one thing i will say is there's not really a scent to it it kind of just smells like of chemicals like not in a bad way i don't i'm not like oh i don't want to put that on my body but it just doesn't really have a scent to it but i don't hate it like i could persevere with it but i was expecting like a coconut scent or something i would have been really happy with that but yeah it kind of just doesn't really smell of anything just kind of of the obviously products and chemicals if you will are in it um and then we've got the self tanning sleep mask all these products, I believe, have hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, which I think is really nice. It's a nice touch. Um, this, is, this looks quite good. Again, let me have a whiff. 
Let me get some out. <laughs> Sorry if you hear any noise, it's just from the road. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. I'm gonna have a little. Okay, this literally smells of nothing. Like, it doesn't even smell of like chemicals. It literally smells of nothing. But I will say, it feels really nice. It's not sticky. I really like the feel of that. I really like, I don't like sticky, and that's literally just gone straight into my skin. Oh, I like that. I think I'm gonna like this product. It feels really nice, like it almost feels soft. Doesn't feel sticky, doesn't feel sticky on my hand. I like that a lot. I think I'm gonna like that product. And then the last product I have got here is the Self Turning Face Mist. Sorry, a message just come through my phone and I was like, um, self tanning face mist all skin tones with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C now because this says all skin tones what I might do is I might try it on myself obviously give you my opinion on of it on me but I also might get my sister to try it because it's all skin tones she's a bit fairer than me just to see how she gets on with it and I'll let you guys know I don't want to break up again packaging guys is lovely I love that I like the blue, sleek, expensive, I love it. Um, by the way, I will be recycling the boxes. And if you can, I highly recommend you start recycling. These bottles are recyclable, they are. So if you recycle the paper, everything. Recycling, is the planet is important, okay? If you can do your bit, you know, do your bit. Um, again, hydronic acid and vitamin C. Ensure face is clean, dry and free from any products. Shake well before you use. Whole bottle roughly 15 centimetres from the face. Close your eyes. Oh, spray four to six pumps. Now, I did read on the little note card. Oh, see, look how sleek it all looks. See, I love that. Uh, so it says here, apply four to six pumps to... Pumps? What? <laughs> apply four to six pumps to... Oh my God, pumps. Apply four to six pumps to dry, clean skin. Four equals light and six pumps equals dark. I just said it again, but we're just gonna keep going. Um, it does say blend your application with a mitt. We didn't, I didn't get a mitt in the box, but I do have a really good mitt um, from Sienna X that I'll probably just use, um, so that's fine. Um, but what I found But what I found quite funny was that this, I was like, yeah, shake before you, you're not meant, don't shake before you. So I'm not sure why, um, but apparently you're not meant to shake this before you, so keep that in mind. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this video now and I'm going to give it a go and then I will get back to you guys soon, okay? Just real quick, I didn't specify, I will give all the de my details on what I thought on the packaging, on the scents, everything at the end. So I might put it on and then I might come back, give you a little review on how it goes on and stuff. And then we will wait for the result in six hours. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back with my mitt. Now this isn't a Bondi Sands mitt. This is a Sienna X mitt. So we're not gonna judge the mitt. Okay guys. So what I thought I would do is I would do one of my arms with you guys. Okay, give you a little uh, review. Um, so obviously, don't shake. I really hope this isn't really runny and goes everywhere. But I'm just going to get a towel. The towel has been laid. Right. So now I this was the one I wasn't a massive fan of the scent. It doesn't smell really bad. It just kind of doesn't smell of anything. It's kind of just, you know. And by the way, guys, I'm going to do my hair and stuff after. Um, I just wanted to do my tan and stuff first. Oh, okay. So it's got like a stopper, so it doesn't come out yet. It's foamy. Oh, okay, I don't mind the scent. Like, it's not really, really bad. It's just... Okay, the only thing I will say is you can't... You can't really see it, so you don't know where you put it. But I guess you can just see slight dampness on your skin. You know what? Oh. It actually doesn't feel half bad. 
I hope it dries because at this moment in time I feel a little bit sticky. Ooh. Let's do the top half of my hand. My hand, my arm. I love how I've just got the box here, like, let's just, you never saw that. <laughs> you know what? This doesn't feel half bad. It's like a workout, isn't it, doing tan? Oh, obviously I will get my shoulder and everywhere off camera, okay? We don't really need to be demonetized. Okay, I'm gonna give that a second, let it dry, and then I'm gonna fill my arm. So I just had a little feel, I'm a little bit sticky. Kind of feels like damp, like water. But you know what, so far, I'm not hating it. I'm gonna do the rest of my body and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so oh. I just finished putting it on my body. And you know what, one thing I will say is it kind of gives your skin like a glow. And I really liked that, so I was like, oh, okay. Now, and I'm, like I have the tan I use and I don't change so this is big for me okay so now we're going to use the self tanning face mist from now <laughs> and then so this ensure your face is dry and clean which it is I got out the shower shake well before use whole bottle roughly okay so for four pumps it's light and for six pumps it's dark so I'm going to do four see how that covers my face Oh, what is... Whoa. I was actually just about to... Okay. By the way, I haven't done my hair yet. I don't feel too sticky. Slightly. But so far, so good. I'll give my full review um, a little in soon. I might do it after I've done the face mist. And then we judge the colour. Oh, Why am I scared? Why can't it come out? Okay. Okay. This is hard. <laughs> My finger can't. I want to get it on camera as well. Okay, she's a little bit like wet, watery. Oh god, it's like I'm out of the shower. Okay, she is really wet. Okay, it's in the eyeball. Which side did I use for my body? That side. This is the side I didn't use for my body, so this side's dry. Okay, the one thing I didn't like was that was really wet. I have a spray from Sienna X that I love and it is more of like an aerosol. That was very wet. I felt like I was having a shower. But you know, I'm not going to judge it just yet. It might look really nice. Like now it's rubbed in, obviously it's not as bad. My eyelashes are a bit wet. That weren't too fun. Okay. One thing I will say is it does make you look kind of like glowy. Like, do you guys kind of see that? I'm trying really hard not to touch my face. Like it's, it's kind of like, oh. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair and then I will probably get back to it. I don't know if I put makeup over the top of this, can I? Wash hands thoroughly after you do not apply any other skincare products until colours have developed for best results. Leave on skin for at least six hours. Okay, so do you know what? We're gonna leave my whole body for six hours. I'm not gonna put any makeup on, nothing. And then I will let you guys know what the colour's looking like a little bit later. Um, or tomorrow when the lighting's better. I'll see what I can do. I feel like it's kind of already developing. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. Um, pop the lid back on. 
at this moment in time i quite like it if the color turns out nice i'll be really happy but do you know what i might do i need to put some on my hands so i'll do that and then i will probably speak to you guys real soon i'm actually going to show you guys how i do my hands so i literally just took a tiny pump i'll show you on my other hand and just blend it like i get the corners like here and the corner just here i don't go like too i don't do too much i kind of just you know get it and then let's swap it over a little bit so about that much and then i just go this is difficult just take it round like so At least then I won't have pal hands. Okay, I'm all turned up and I will get back to you guys in a little. If you've made it this far, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, so excuse the lighting, I'm watching some YouTube videos. But I just wanted to update you guys because I'm pretty sure it's been six and a half hours now. The time is currently 10.38pm. I haven't rinsed it off yet and I'm probably going to rinse it off tomorrow when I wake up. Um, so I will update you guys tomorrow once I've washed it off and then I will give you a full review. Um, I just want to say thank you to Influencer and Bondi Sands again for sending it to me because it was a really nice thing to try out. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. So yes, let me know what you guys, um, want to see, like if, if there's something you want me to try out, cause like I'll happily go and try it out. I do want to try the Maybelline lip glosses that are meant to be similar to the Fenty one because Fenty lip gloss from Infusi is literally my all-time favourite. I've done about three of them. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably get them and try them out. But, yeah, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi, guys. So, I'm back. A little update. I got up this morning and all rinsed it off. I don't know if you can really see, I just had food, so if I've got pepper in my teeth, I'm so sorry. But I don't know if you can see, and my legs, <laughs> let me see if you can see my, <laughs> this is going to be difficult to show you guys. I don't know if you can see, it's actually not a bad colour, like, ooh. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop you here. Um... Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so I just showed you a little clip, I think. Um, I'm going to be giving you like the rundown on the tan now. As you can see, I have it on. I rinsed it off this morning. Um, and I look a bit better than I did when I filmed the first part. And so if I've got pepper in my teeth, if you guys see, if I watch this back and see, I'm literally going to cry. Um, I just had lunch because I literally was so hungry. Um, the day today is kind of like it's a bit of a crappy day so it's gloomy a little bit cold which is heartbreaking because we had a bit of sun and now i'm just like itching for more sun um but my final thoughts on the bondi sands pure range now i did get something up and read a bit about it and it's all about like being sustainable and plant is it plant based not plant based being ethically sourced um i don't know what made me think plant-based vegan and cruelty free which i do love i love all that and i love like the um ethically sourced stuff like i just i love it like recycling everything um my final thoughts on it so i'm gonna dive in with this one first and i'm gonna say um i think i filmed a little clip at six and a half hours i'd had it on now i'd say there but six and a half hours it was a pretty nice colour. Like, I could have rinsed it off then and, I, uh, like, it would have been nice. Once I woke up, it was very orange, which I didn't hate, but I was a bit like, oh, and my Sienna X one, because obviously I'm a creature of habit, so I am kind of comparing here. Um, It does, like, a layer comes off, but I didn't really feel that with this one, although... 
it does look very natural. Like, look at my head, you can't really see any um, lines. Although there was one line on my knee, but like that was, I think, because I slept funny. Um, the smell, by the way, sorry for the noise, mum's cooking, I've got a bit of road works going on, it's just... <laughs> I liked the texture. Um, the one thing I will say, it was a bit sticky. Um, but apart from that, like I didn't mind the texture. The smell, I wasn't a massive fan of the smell. And it did linger, like it, ling it lingered on my body, like the whole day, um, it, throughout the night as well. So that is one thing I would say, the smell I wasn't a massive fan on. Although with the hydronic acid and the vitamin C, I must say, my skin did feel really soft. Once it had fully dried, my skin, I mean, even now, it feels really soft. I don't know if that's just me or what, but I just noticed that, that my skin felt very soft. Um, so that product, what would I rate it? From one to 10, I'd probably give it a seven. You know what, I'd maybe give it an eight because I do actually quite like the color, like I'd probably use it again. Um, and then, one thing I will say, I can't show you guys, but because I didn't really bother with my chest, I kind of thought I was going to take it off after six and a half hours. I do have like a line here and a line here, <laughs> um, which is quite funny. And I do, where I couldn't get my back, I do have a slight line there. Um, but I do kind of always wear t-shirts. That's just something I'd be mindful of in the summer. Now, the self-tanning mist. You know what? I don't know. I don't. Sorry for the noise, guys. Um, I just, you know what? I when I hear mist, I think like aerosol. Like this was like I was having a shower, and I was like, whoa! Like my eyelashes got wet. It was it was a little bit, you know, traumatic. Um, although I must say the color of my face is quite nice if I do say so myself like I do quite like it so would I use it again probably um because the color is nice it's just and the actual thing like I think I got a video that like pushing it down it was really difficult it was really difficult and then when it sprayed on it was like whoa I was being attacked um but the actual product in itself and the formula I like it was okay like the color is quite nice I was pretty surprised so I'd, I'd probably rate this like as I'd probably rate this a seven um for the color but for the actual like spraying and stuff I'd probably give it like a, a like a 4.5 maybe I don't know I just it was really like and I was like oh my god um but again, like it didn't feel sticky on my face or once it dried, like it was, it was like it wasn't even there. Um, one thing I will say is I did have a slight, um, like line here under my lip, but but like that's kind of inevitable. Um, the one thing I haven't tried yet is the um, sleeping mask. I might try this tonight um but it did feel really nice on my hand so the formula of this really nice um yeah so this i've tried this on my hand and stuff and it felt really nice i can't really tell you guys about the um color or whatnot um if i try it before editing this video i'll put a little clip in or a little thing if not keep up to date with my influencer which I will link down below or my Instagram and I will let you guys know how I get on with this because um, I will be reviewing all these products in depth in my influencer so make sure you guys go and check that out and give me a follow on there please um yeah did quite enjoy this product this was the self tan foaming water I did quite enjoy this like I liked the formula the bottle was easy like it's sleek I do love the packaging um, I mean this I did enjoy the colour of it and I think if you're not sure like what tan to get 
I mean, I probably would maybe recommend this for the colour because the colour is quite nice. Like, it's not patchy. Like, I always look for easy tan to apply and make sure it's not patchy. My hands look okay. Obviously, there's a slight mark there, but I, I have I wash my hands. It's really hard for me to, like, you know, do this. And I normally have a mist, but I just go like that and update my hands throughout the day. So, yeah, I mean, these two products I haven't minded. This one more so i quite enjoyed this i liked the formula and um, the way it went on the way it developed i did quite enjoy this um so yeah my overall thoughts the tan was like nice nice formula the smell wasn't a fan of um smell i'm not a massive fan of the formula nice not streaky like that's a big plus for me like i do not like streaks in tan um easy to apply to be honest apart from obviously my mishap with the mist it's more of like a water okay um but yeah apart from that like i've really enjoyed trying this out like it's been a lot of fun trying something new giving you guys my honest thoughts overall i'd probably rate it a solid like eight out of ten like i did quite enjoy it um i do wish it smelled like coconuts okay it's probably nice sounds if you're watching this place okay coconuts are just mm. um but yeah, if you guys want me to try anything else, if there's anything on the market right now you want me to try, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little insight. Maybe you'll go and try it out. If you do, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you think. Because um, obviously everyone's different. So like, you know, it might not work for you, but it works for me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Before I upload this video, I just wanted to quickly come on and say that I've had the turn on now for like... a few days a couple days and i've received like quite a few compliments on it like my neighbors and because obviously where else am i gonna go it's covid and my family and stuff have been like oh it looks really nice and obviously you, my hands i have to wash them a lot but honestly it is so nice like if you could see it as well like on the mirror and stuff like like in the mirror it just is so nice if you can like i'd highly recommend that you try it out because it's actually the color has been really nice i just wanted to add that because i felt like i was going off of like my sh like first impression straight away when actually i needed to let it sit so i'd actually rate it like a solid like eight out of ten nine out of ten like it was really good like i've enjoyed it i'm going to use it up and i probably might even repurchase it like i really like it so if you can give it a go